Okay, cool, you ready? Yep. You're good. <laughs> so what's the structure of superficial fascia like? Well, I'm going to tell you that superficial fascia, the adiposal cushy layer uh, underneath your dermis, is made of two sorts of fascial shapes. One, the lobule. Two, the membrane. So lobules and membranes create the structure of superficial fascia deep to your skin. So here's your skin, right? We'll call that the epidermis. Here's another layer. We'll call it the dermis. There's the dermis. Here comes the hypodermis. Okay, so the hypodermis is the superficial fascia, the hypodermis, and it's lobular, deep to your skin, but not just lobular. It also has sort of membranous pathways going through it. Membranes, membranes, membranes. And the organization of the membranes relative to the lobules is very variable, depending upon how thick is the superficial fascia. So I have seen from having dissected many, 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 many bodies over the years, which all had different shapes and sizes and thicknesses of their superficial fascia distributed differently over the body, because that's what our fatty layer does. It, it demonstrates the incredible uniqueness and variety of the human form. We don't just look one way, right? Well, neither does your superficial fascia when you look at it closely. So, the lobules, for instance, can be sometimes organized like very uh, sequentially, like grains of rice all in a row. I see that here in the groin area. The lobules at the surface are like grains of rice, all organized in a row. But then deeper down, we might find larger lobules that are less uh, shapely or less patterned. They don't look so much like a school of fish. So within superficial fascia itself, we're going to find transition zones of types and shapes of lobules, right? And then also we're going to find, sometimes we'll have, uh, this is one that Carla Stecco, a friend of mine, a colleague in the fascia community, and someone you should all be big fans of. She's done a marvelous textbook on fascia. Um, when she describes the superficial fascia, Right? She kind of just shows kind of what we would, she would call superficial adipose, and then a membrane going through there, and then uh, a, a deeper layer, what she might call the deep adipose. Now, this is findable in the human body. It's not the only version that we can find in the human body, though, and I'll do another video where we'll discuss the, va the variable types of expression of the membranes. But for now, let's just say that the structure of superficial fascia, this fatty layer, right, includes uh, adipose formed in lobules and different organizations as well as membranes. Now, even the lobules themselves <laughs> are little capsules of fascia with smaller capsules inside of them. So let's do the anatomy of one fatty lobule, right? Around the fatty lobule, we're going to have a membranous, uh, a membranous envelopment, as well as a more fibrous capsular envelopment. And then inside of it, what's in there? A teaspoon of olive oil? No. More lobules, teensy tiny, little itty bitty uh, micro versions of the larger lobule. So if you slice a fatty lobule in half, you see inside of it, I'm running out of my ability to draw circles. There's so many of them, if I was to give you an exact illustration, I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, so lobules within lobules, within lobules and somewhere down at the bottom of the fractal ingress of lobules, we're going to find adipocytes or fat cells. 
So superficial fascia structure includes lobules and membranes. The structure of the lobules themselves involves more membranes, more fascial envelopment, encapsulating tiny, tiny lobules on down to Horton and his Who village. So uh, cool stuff. That's interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by uh, the, the beauty, actually, of, of this tissue. I hope you are, too. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilhadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>